noisy city and go to live in the country. Early in the morning, as the city was waking up, they packed their small car. Driving all morning, Nicky and his mother finally stopped in a small village. There, they visited a man who sold houses. Madam, you have come to the right place. I have all kinds of houses at all kinds of prices. Small, medium, large, extra large, red, white, or blue, old or new, you name it, Dudley Poindexter will come through. Now, uh, just what kind of a place did you have in mind? Well, something comfortable. Small, but comfortable. Um, with a fireplace and uh, uh, bright rooms. Hmm. I have just the thing for you. Twenty rooms, five bedrooms. Oh, I'm afraid that's going to... I may be out of my mind. I may be crazy. But I am going to make a deal for you. Madam, the place is yours for uh, <clears throat> $500. Whole house for five hundred dollars. Uh, how about four hundred? We'll take it. Lovely. Sign right here. About a mile and a half down the road. Bye. 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 Basil, 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 wake up, wake up, Basil, come on, wake up, Basil, listen to me, listen to me, you know that old haunted house way out on the edge of town, well, I finally sold it! <laughs> What a mess. How are we ever going to clean this place up? It's cold, Mommy. Can I make a fire? Yes. I think we could use some heat. What was 
that. And what are you doing in my house? Who are you? I'm a witch. That's who I am. And this is my house. This is our house because we bought it. Your house. Woolweeds. I've lived here for 300 years. Maybe she's a witch. Maybe indeed. Listen, I don't know who you are or what you are, but we've had a lot of troubles lately. Oh. You all have our problems. No need to be cranky. Cranky? This house is not big enough for three of us. So two of us will have to go. Oh. We are not leaving our new house. And I'm not leaving my old house. Besides, where would I go? There aren't many broken down houses left nowadays. And if you want to do something useful, why don't you help us clean up this house? Clean up this house? Oh, impossible. This house has to have cobwebs in every corner, black curtains at the window, and wall-to-wall -wall dust on the floors. Time being, you can have the room up in the attic. The old witch was not at all pleased with her new company, but there didn't seem to be much else for her to do but retire to the attic, which she had to share with three bats, a mouse, and her big black. I wonder if she's a good witch or a bad witch. As if we didn't have enough problems already. Is she going to be a problem? I don't know. I never lived with a witch before. Can she stay? We'll see. I hope she's a good witch. Time for bed, Nick. We'll talk about it in the morning. I'm glad we bought this house. weeks, every night she played old music on an old graph. And every day, she would sit in bed reading the newspapers, which nicked her. The old witch became gloomy and depressed. The news was always bad, and none of the want ads ever seemed to want an old witch. Meanwhile, Nicky and his mother worked hard cleaning the house and decorating all the rooms.
interested setting of her own. She spun cobwebs all over her room. So gloomy, witch. I'm old and unwanted. The world's so full of evil nowadays that people don't need witches anymore. Why don't you stop being a witch? Stop being a witch? Impossible. Could you stop being a little boy? Or a chair stop being a chair? Or a mouse stop being a mouse? I've been a witch for 300 years. That's all I can be. Do all witches die? No. They just fade away. Little by little, we lose our powers. Can you wiggle your ears? No. Neither can I. Can you fly? Yes. I used to fly on that broomstick over there. But it's an old model. They don't make the parts anymore. Oh, what wouldn't I give to be back in the good old days? What did you do in the good old days? Well, in the good old days, this house was full of witches. And I used to cook for them. What did you cook? Oh, everything that witches like. Mostly magic foods. Would you cook for us? Cook for you? <laughs> Did you hear that? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why didn't I think of that before? That's the answer. <laughs> we'll show them what an old witch can do. Boy, we accept your offer. Tonight, we begin to cook. <laughs> And so all that night, the old witch worked hard, cooking up a strange brew in a big black pot. Can I taste? What? Can I taste? Not now. But when I'm finished, you can have as much as you like. <laughs> my magic special tip. Great, what is it? Pancakes! Blueberry pancakes! But all that work for pancakes! They're not just pancakes. They're the final solution to the unhappiness problem. Go on, go on, try some. Magic pancakes. They make people happy. What's going on here? Pancakes, Mommy. Magic pancakes. What? I've been cooking. Making a mess is more like it. You try some, little. Do you good. Never did anything so good. Suddenly I feel quite happy. What did you put in them? That, my good woman, must remain my secret. But they are happiness pancakes, guaranteed to make people happy. Even the meanest and happiest people, one bite, and they're not unhappy anymore. I just, I just reversed an old recipe. <laughs> Who in the world could that be? Good morning, my dear. I'm Mrs. Butterthwaite. And I'm Mrs. Marmaduke. We're from the Ladies' Auxiliary. Of the Ladies' Auxiliary of what? Everything. 
everything. You name it, we're the auxiliary. We just popped in to welcome you. They say you fixed the old house up. Still a bit dusty, isn't it? Shame it's such a bad neighborhood. No one ever stays here long. They say this house is haunted. Witches. The last family that lived here disappeared one day. Like that? You'll be sorry, my dear. When it's too late. Oh, don't tell me you believe in witches. Oh, I've never seen one, mind you. But we all know they do wretched things. They're all evil. And they come from the very worst families. Oh, uh, we've been eating. Would you care to join us? Oh, I don't mind if we do. <coughs> what are these? Pancakes? Blueberry pancakes. Rather good. Very good. Marvelous. <laughs> Extraordinary. Ambrosia. Best food I've ever eaten. Are you happy? Happy? I've never felt better in my life. You're a very talented cook, my dear. You must give me the recipe. Oh, uh, I'm afraid that must remain a secret. The uh, recipe may be secret, but you can't keep these pancakes a secret. Well, we don't intend to. We plan to open a pancake parlor. Why, that's a splendid idea. Oh, make a <laughs> lot of people happy. <laughs> My dear, it's been a lovely visit, and I wish you the best of luck. And if you need any help, don't hesitate to call our master. I won't. Nikki, we are going into the happiness business. The next day, Nikki and his mother began turning their living room into a pancake parlor. In a very short time, they were ready to open for business. On the first day, they invited all the neighbors to come to a gala pancake party. came from miles and miles just to taste the witch's delicious dish. Pancakes were a huge success, and Nikki and the old witch became the best of friends. He helped her in the kitchen, and every day they took long walks together in the country.
before we met you, were you a good witch or a bad witch? Bad witch. Very bad. Up and that's been good for a witch. See, in those days, people needed a little scaring now and then. But times have changed. People are already scared. They need something they can believe in. Something to believe in. The goodness of the pancake. Watch. Watch how people are eating my pancake. They're all happy. Some of them are happy for the first time in their lives. And you're happy. And your mother's happy. The house is happy. And when people are happy, then they want to make other people happy. Someday, when everyone is happy, then I'm going to start scaring them again. Ah!